All right, fifth graders. Today's lesson, I don't want to scare you off, but just know that if you don't get it right away, bear with me because it's a little tricky. Okay, so again, don't stop the video. You can do it. Just know that um, it might be a little harder than the other ones. And if you're feeling overwhelmed, just know that you can go back and rewatch it if you need to. So today we're rounding with division. Now the tricky thing with that is I can't just round like normal, okay? Because if I round like normal, that would turn into 3,000, and I can't necessarily do 3 divided by 6. Now, sometimes it'll work, but not always. So, just know that you can't round like normal. You have to find what are called compatible numbers. So, say I want to do 6,742 divided by 8. What you need to do is you need to look at this second number and think about multiples of 8. So you know how I said multiplication chart last time? So look at your multiples of 8. That's a little hard to see. Let me change colors so it stands out a little bit. So we're looking at our multiples of 8 here. All right. And we want to find a multiple that is close to 67. I take the first two digits, so 67, and then I want to find a multiple of 8 that's close to that. So if I look back at my chart, I can say, okay, well, 56, 64, and 72 are close. I want to find one that's a little bit smaller and one that's a little bit bigger. So I have, whoops. 64, oh goodness, sorry, 64 and 72 are the two closest multiples. And now I have to figure out which one is closest. Well, 64 is only three away, 72 is five away, so 64 is closest. All right, so I'm just going to go ahead and erase 72. So now I want to go ahead and make it the same length. So it's like I rounded this number to this number with what I like to call special rounding. Okay, you're special rounding the first number to a nice number that will work. Because now if I try and do 6400 divided by 8, I can go back to my chart and okay, 64 divided by 8 is 8. Because 8 times 8 is 64. So I get 8. And then I have two zeros, so I can put my two zeros. So my answer is 800 using my special rounding. Again, about. The, I estimated that the answer to this first problem is this. This also will come in handy when we get to long division, and you want to check if your answers are reasonable. Let's do some more special rounding, because I think the more you see, the more it will make sense. I have the problem 1,745 divided by 3. I don't want to know the exact answer. I'm just going to estimate. So to do that, I need to use special rounding. So I need to look for multiples of 3. Let's go look on our chart. Make that a little bigger. So multiples of 3 right here. Okay, so that's the row I'm going to be looking in. I'm going to look for multiples that are close to 17. Well, okay, I see 18 is really close. 15 is also pretty close. 15 is a little bit smaller. 18 is a little bit bigger. Well, 15 is two away. 18 is only one away, so I'm going to use 18. Need to add some zeros to make it the same lengths. Now I can divide it by three. To do 18 divided by 3, if I go back to check my chart, 18 divided by 3 is going to be 6, because 6 times 3 is 18. So that's going to be 6. And then my two zeros make my two zeros. So my answer is 600. About. Right? The answer to this problem is 600. The answer to this first problem is about 600. I estimated. 
I want to estimate the answer to 4,467 divided by 6. So, which, what am I going to look for multiples of? This second number. So, I will look for my multiples of 6. I can either look up and down or side to side. There are my multiples of 6. So, I need to find a multiple that is close to 44. Let's look and see. Okay, well, 36 is kind of close. 42 is pretty close, and 48 is a little bit bigger. So we can say 42 and 48 are the one on either side. 42 is only two away. 48 is four away. So we're gonna go with the one that's closer, the one that's only two away. Now, what do I need to do? Oh, right, I need to make it the same length. Essentially, I rounded 4,467 to 4,200 using my special rounding rules. Now, I don't think you'll ever find a textbook that calls it special rounding. They'll call it compatible numbers. They're numbers that, like, get along well together. 42 and 6 get along well. But I like to call it special rounding. But just know, if you see compatible numbers, that's what it means. So, divided by 6. Well, 42 divided by 6, if I go back to my chart, because I don't remember. Maybe you do, that's great. But 42 divided by 6, let me go over, is 7. So I know that part is 7. Put on my two zeros. Hopefully you're seeing how this is starting to work. I'm going to do a couple more examples. But hopefully you're starting to see, okay, I go look for the multiples. Then I find my special multiple. Then I can divide and put on the zeros. So let's do, we haven't divided any by five. So we'll do, oh, I know. This one will be a good one to show you something special. So if I have... 2,251 divided by 5. Okay, I'm going to look for multiples of 5 on my chart. All right, sorry, that was a terrible circle. Let me try that again. Oh, so much straighter. Perfect. Okay, and you might have those ones memorized. You can just count by 5s. need to find one that's close to 22. Maybe you can count 5, 10, 15, 20. Ooh, 20 is close. 25 is also close. It's a little bit bigger. This is only 2 away. That's 3 away. So let's go with the closer one. Now, I still want it to be 4 digits. So I'm going to put on my zeros. But I can't just do 2 divided by 5. That doesn't work. So what I need to do is 20 divided by 5. I'm using one of my zeros to help me divide. 120 divided by 5, again, if you can count by 5s, 5, 5, 10, 15, 20, that is 4. Now, I already used one of my zeros, so I just have two zeros left to give me 400. All right, so just know that sometimes you'll have to use one of those zeros in the dividing, and then the other two zeros um, are just extra. Let's do one more, and then I think you'll be ready. Or you can go watch this video again, remember. Or ask me questions if you need to, because this is tricky. If I have, let's do 1 divided by 9, 50, 5,382 divided by 9. So we're going to look for multiples of 9. Uh, oh, and just a note, I, I will know if you use a calculator on this because you'll get exact answers. And I don't want exact answers. I want estimated answers. I want to know about what it would be, not exactly what it would be. So we're looking for something that's close to 53. So we have, ooh, we have 54. I can tell that's only one away, so I don't even need to write the other one because I can tell right away there's not any other multiple of 9 that's as close as 54 is. So I special rounded this number to 54. 
100. Notice how 9 and 54 are compatible. They get along well. I can divide 54 by 9 without anything left over. So 54 divided by 9, if I need to go back and look at my chart, I can say, okay, 9, 54, go up here. Ah, 6, that's right. So 6, and then I have my two zeros, gives me 600. All right, go practice. You can do it.